So I think we can all agree, Minecraft content sucks. Believe me if I told you I am standing on a secret base, and the only way to get in is to jump. What? Today in Minecraft, every one of my friends has been ignoring me. I died in Minecraft, and today we're rising back up to life. In this video, I will end up with 0.01% of a heart. When you start. In this video, Bobble and Fanch try to hunt me down as usual, but this time- A mutant zombie is hunting us down, and we need to find a way to fight them! Today, we're gonna look at and see where Minecraft content went wrong, and of course how we can get back to that content. So play the intro sequence. Like, now. Fine, I'll just start the video without- I've been playing and watching Minecraft for as long as I can remember. I literally started playing Minecraft on the iPod Lite edition, and I watched content on YouTube Kids. So I grew up on unspeakable, popular MMOs, Preston Plays, and my personal favorite, Dan TDM. And for 8 year old me, it was amazing. I just absolutely loved how Dan Team's videos had a sort of story. They almost felt like a TV show, and I could not stop watching. Editor's note, while finding old YouTube B-roll, I got sidetracked and watched three old Dan TDM videos. The reason I love these videos, and still do, is because there is a type of simplicity about them. They just feel like a person messing around with Minecraft mods and telling a story. But eventually, I started to grow out of it. Over the next couple of years, I slowly drifted away from playing Minecraft just because I was getting into other games, also YouTube content had become super stale, and it was just the same ideas over and over and over again. But around the time of the Chinese bioweapons test, and with quarantine I had nothing to do so I got really into survival Minecraft. And naturally, I also got into Minecraft content. So of course, I found SMP content. And it was the perfect content. I loved how there was a story that I could follow similar to the older content that I had enjoyed, and I could see all my favorite YouTubers playing together, or just seeing Technoblade wipe the floor with everyone. Maybe it was me and my friends who had started a realm at the time, but it felt like everyone was doing and feeling the exact same thing. First I watched Dream SMP, then I watched Lifesteal, then I found old SMP live videos, and it was awesome. It was a perfect blend of the older simplicity and innocence mixed with the newer fast-paced editing. But what I really think made these videos great were the interactions. Let me explain. What are your favorite Minecraft moments? For me, and I hope a lot of other people, it's the time I placed TNT under my friend's door. It's the time we copied block for block one of the Minecraft handbook guides, only to realize none of the redstone works because it's for like 1.6. It's the time a gas blew my portal and I had to wait for an hour for my friend to log on and let me out. It's moments like these that really make Minecraft, Minecraft. And that's what I think is so special about SMP content. If done right, it perfectly captures the essence of Minecraft. But now, in 2024, content is boring and repetitive. I mean, how many times can I watch AFMA be the outpool? How many SMPs can I watch? How many 100 days videos can I watch? It doesn't have the same magic, and yeah, that kind of content was obviously always around. But the copycats were blocked out by the original content. Now that all these big servers have died or ended or both, there's nothing to fill that space, and it's just content because there needs to be Minecraft content. And every month, there's hundreds of new Minecraft videos being made, but none of them have the soul that Minecraft had. And that's what I think Minecraft content really lost. There's no servers, you can just sit down and watch hours of content and just enjoy. But that's where my channel comes in. Hopefully. I'm starting a new Minecraft server to try and revive Minecraft content. I've outlined all the issues I believe are plaguing Minecraft content today, and I'm going to try to fix all of them. I'm going to try to make the videos interesting, but not too fast-paced, because I, I want to try to keep that older innocence and simplicity. Um, I have no clue how well the server is going to do. I don't know anything except I'm trying to do what I love in Minecraft and upload that. I'm trying to bring back the laid-back style of SMP Live, over-the-top traps of Lifesteal, and the epic story moments from Dream SMP. And obviously, I'm not any of these YouTubers, and I'm not trying to be. What I'm trying to catch is the magic of Minecraft on camera. So if this short essay spoke to you at all, or if you missed this type of content, I beg for you to go check out the server. The first episode should already be up. Even if you don't go check the server out, I just want you to load up Minecraft right now and start a new world. Maybe invite a couple friends, but... I just want you to just start playing Minecraft and just build a house, start a farm, get a pet, just just play Minecraft and enjoy it. You may be busy, you may not have time to play Minecraft, so you shouldn't waste the present reminiscing about old times. You should just, just enjoy the game that we all love, because that's the best part about Minecraft, it's, it's the memories we make. 
Before the video ends, I just want to give my closing thoughts. I don't want this video to be too negative talking about how Minecraft's dying because there's still lots of good YouTubers out there. And I'm going to link a few good videos from creators in the description. And obviously, if you're looking for a server to watch, feel free to check out my server. But don't feel forced. Anyway, this was my first essay style video, so I hope you enjoyed. And if this video does one thing for you, I want it to relight that fire you used to have for Minecraft. Because I know making this, I realized I'm going to play Minecraft for the rest of my life. This game is my childhood. I have hundreds of memories in this game. And I know millions of other people are the same. So let's do everything we can to keep our childhood alive by keeping this game alive.